I'd like to call to order the regular meeting for Calcasieu Parish Police Jury for Thursday, January 19th, 2023. Uh, if you would, please take a moment to silence your cell phones. Uh, if there's any items that you wish to speak on tonight, fill out the, a blue slip that you'll find there at the front of the room and bring it to anyone here at the staff desk. We're going to have the invocation and pledge of allegiance by Mr. Smith. Please stand. Dear Lord, we come in prayer tonight asking for your guidance and wisdom as we conduct our business. And Lord, please put a uh, blessing over all that are in ten and all the ones that live in the parish. For, for heaven, amen. Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, Madam Secretary. Yes, sir. Mr. Abshire? Here. Mr. Injapon? Here. Mr. Barris? Here. Mr. Barty? Here. Vice President Brame? Here. Mr. Burley? Here. Mr. Guillory? Here. Mr. Hayes? Here. Mr. Lewis? Here. Mr. Markintel? Here. Mr. Richard? Here. Mr. Smith? Here. Mr. Stelly? Here. Mr. Tremonti? Here. And President Landry? Here. Everyone's here. Thank you, Captain. You're welcome. Uh, item one is public hearing at 545. We're going to go to number two, Mr. Brain. Yes, sir. Is that okay? Yes, sir. <coughs> All right, item 2A, approve application for liquor and beer permits. So moved. Mr. So Crane, moved. staff recommends that three, you have three renewal applications and that they all be approved. I have a motion by Mr. Reshore and a second by Mr. Barris. <laughs> Any objections? Any discussion? Hearing none, motion carries. 3A, approve the minutes of the Here's regular meeting of the police Second. jury dated December 15, 2022. Have a motion by Mr. Abshire, second by Mr. Barty. Any objections? Any discussion? Hearing none, motion carries. 3B, approve the General Insurance Second. Committee report dated January 19, 2023. Mr. Hayes. Insurance Committee of the Police Jury met at 5 p.m. today, January 19th. <clears throat> committee received report from staff with reference to the 2023 insurance policies and recommends approval and execution <coughs> of all the documents related thereto, including excess workers' comp, auto and public entity management liability, crime liability, property, aircraft, physicians, professional liability, cyber liability, and medical prescription. This is the end of my report, Mr. President, and I move to proceed as recommended by the committee. That was an excellent report. Thank you, Mr. Hayes. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. 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 That was a motion by Mr. Markintel, a second by Mr. Lewis. Any discussion? Any objections? Hearing none, motion carries. 3C, adopt a pro se verbal and resolution promulgating the results of the election held on November 8, 2022 for authority of the Calcasieu Parish Police Jury to renew, levy, and collect an existing tax of two and forty-eighth hundredths, <coughs> two point four eight mills for the purpose of maintaining and operating the facilities and services of the Calcasieu Parish Health Unit. We have a motion by Mr. Burley and we have a second by Mr. Reshore. Any discussion? Any objections? Hearing none, motion carries. 3D, adopt a pro se verbal and resolution promulgating Move. the results of the election Second. held on November 8, 2022 for authority of the Calcasieu Parish Police Jury to renew, mm -hmm. levy, and collect an existing tax of 3.49 mills for the purpose of maintaining and operating the Juvenile Detention Center and the Juvenile Probation Office. We have a motion by Mr. Barris and a second by Mr. Smith. Is there any discussion? Any objections? Hearing none, motion carries. Item 3E, adopt a pro se Second. verbal and resolution promulgating the results of the election held on November 8, 2022 for authority of the Calcasieu Parish Police Jury to renew, levy, and collect an existing tax of 4.06 mills for the purpose of paying the cost of expenses, equipment, and supplies related to construction, hard surfacing, and improving roads, highways, and bridges and the necessary ditching and drainage relating thereto and continuation of the parish's road and drainage trust fund. I have a motion by Mr. Markintel and a second by Mr. Reshore. Is there any discussion? 
Any objections? Hearing none, motion carries. 4A, adopt a resolution approving a cooperative endeavor agreement between the police jury and the city of Westlake for the intersection improvements at John Stein Road with Sampson Street and Westwood Road and 378. I have a motion by Mr. Burley and a second by Mr. Tremonti. Any discussion? Any objections? Hearing none, motion carries. Move on 5A. Second. 5A, approve payment of all current Thank invoices you. and advise regarding budget to actual comparisons. I have a motion by Mr. Andrew Pont and a second by Mr. Barty. Any discussion? Any objections? Hearing none, motion carries. 5B, Move on, five action on proposals for an automated water meeting, meteor reading system. <clears throat> Waterworks District number five of Ward three and eight. I have a motion by Mr. Marcatel, second by Mr. Stelly. Any discussion? Any objections? Hearing none, motion carries. Both proposals uh, were non responsive. <laughs> I'm sure y'all, that's what your motion's on. So we probably don't really need a motion. We have to, re or your motion is to re advertise, is that correct? There we go. Correct. We're good. We cleared that up. Okay, 5C, <laughs> action on bids for herbicides and weed control chemicals. Staff recommends the bids of Helena, or we could say Helena, depending on what part of the country you might be from. <laughs> Agribusinesses LLC, Red River Specialties LLC, uh, Renekill, North America, DBA, Target Specialty Products be accepted. Got a motion by Mr. Geary, second by Mr. Markintel. Any discussion? Any objections? Hearing none, motion carries. 5D, adopt a resolution accepting the Sulphur Library Hurricane <coughs> Repair Project as substantially complete. <coughs> I have a motion by Mr. Bear, second by Mr. Andrew Pont. Any discussion? Any objections? Hearing none, motion carries. We have six minutes to go. Would like to wish Mr. Barris a happy birthday. Maybe we could talk about that for <laughs> the next six minutes. Well, Mr. President, I would suggest we either roast him or sing happy birthday. Roast. I want to roast him. That's he, going to take longer than six minutes. Who, who wants to start he, he is a very young 60 year old gentleman, I will say. <laughs> he looks good. Uh, thank you all. Um, like my grandfather used to say, I, I started with nothing. I still have most of that left. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, which I hope will serve me well going forward. But it's uh, been a good day, family. Uh, it's good to have colleagues like y'all uh, around as well. So uh, it's, uh, it's different. I first started <laughs> off with my <clears throat> sciatic nerve acting up, and I get up and I barely walk, and my daughter goes, Dad. You've been 50 like six hours. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, well, when the warranty, you know what they say, when the warranty goes out, that's when it always happens. So I need to check my paperwork, but uh, thank you. For a whole other five minutes, we will probably get in trouble. So we're just going to go ahead and recess now for five minutes. Yeah. And we'll come back. Thank you. <laughs>
1C5529 Thelma Lane in East Lake Charles, mm -hmm. Ward 3, one manufactured home. Is there anyone in the audience that wishes to speak on number 1C5529 Thelma Lane? See no one. I have a motion by Mr. Smith, a second by Mr. Reshord to condemn and remove in 30 days. Any discussion? Any objections? Hearing none, motion carries. Item 1D, 1598 Goss Road in Moss Bluff, Ward 1. There's one house. Is there anyone in the audience that wishes to speak on 1D, 1598 Goss Road? See no one. I have a motion by Mr. Smith, second by Mr. Reshard to condemn or remove in 30 days. Any discussion? Any objections? Hearing none, motion carries. Item 1E, 2415 Con uh, South Constance Lane in Lake Charles, Ward 3. It's one house. Is there anyone in the audience that wishes to speak on 1E, 2415 South Constance Lane? I have a motion by Mr. Abshire, second by Mr. Andropont to condemn and remove in 30 days. Is there any further discussion, any objections? Hearing none, motion carries. 1F, 2500 Drum Drive, South Lake Charles, Ward 3 is one accessory building. Move to condemn. Is there anyone in the audience that wishes to speak on 1F, 2500 Drum Drive? I have a motion by Mr. Hayes, second by Mr. Markintel to condemn and remove within 30 days. Is there any discussion, any objections? Hearing none, motion carries. 1G, 2400 Greenbrier Road, South Lake Charles and Ward 3. It's one house. Is there anyone in the audience that wishes to speak on 1G, 2400 Greenbrier Road? And a motion by Mr. Geary, second by Mr. Reshore to remove or to condemn and remove within 30 days. Any discussion, any objections? Hearing none, motion carries. 1H, 2417 Greenbrier Road, South Lake Charles, Ward 3. There's one house. Is there anyone in the audience that wishes to speak on 1H, 2417 Greenbrier Road? I have a motion by Mr. Lewis, second by Mr. Geary to condemn and remove within 30 days. Is there any discussion, any objections? Hearing none, motion carries. 1I, 7491 Pine Alley, Southwest Lake Charles and Ward 3, one manufactured home. Is there anyone in the audience that wishes to speak on 1I, 7491 Pine Alley? Move to condemn. Second. Got a motion by Mr. Brain to condemn and remove in 30 days. Second by <coughs> Mr. Barty. Is there any discussion? Any objections? Hearing none, motion carries. 1J, 4275, Move. Highway 12 and Starks. Ward 5, there's one metal commercial building. Is there anyone in the audience that wishes to speak on 1J, 4275 Highway 12 and Starks? Okay, did he didn't fill out a blue card. Go, go ahead and come to the podium, please. Do we need him to fill out the card? We'll be good. Okay, if you would, state your name and address for the record. Sahid Raza. 5309 Schumacher Lane, Houston, Texas, 77056. Okay, if you would tell the uh, the jury of why you think it should not be condemned. Well, our plan is to rebuild that as a gas station over there, and we were not able to finish uh, the building. We own it for like 10, 12 years, but we're not able to. We still want to build it, and if I can if you allow me some time, I can uh, at least finish up the front of the building, not the full construction. And if I have that time, so I can move on with the plans and bring it to your uh, office. And okay, hold tight. Mr. Markentil. This building has been vacant and unoccupied for over 20 years, right in the middle of the community of Starks. Hurricane Rita did damage to it. Nothing was done to this building. Hurricane Laura came, really damaged that building. You made no attempt to make any repairs until you were sent a letter by this body. So my motion is to condemn this building, sir, because you have let it go for too long. I would request if I can get at least 60 days to. You know, Mr. Crane, 
Uh, just so you know, I was, I was speaking with Dan Broussard. He's the chief building official. We have not received any plans for any of this thus far. <clears throat> so we have sent letters to the owner and typically if they respond they you know and they want to do that they need to submit their plans <clears throat> for you know getting it up to code and everything but we have not received any yet had that happened we wouldn't be here tonight yeah. <clears throat> and we try to work with them you know right are there any more questions for the gentleman Well, he'll, well, if, it, if the, his motion, we have a motion on the floor by Mr. Markintel and a second by Mr. Richard to condemn and remove <coughs> in 30 days. <coughs> so if that motion passes, then you have 30 days to remove the building, uh, you know, at your own expense. And if you don't, then an inspector will go back out to the property in 30 days. And if the building's still there, then the police jury will hire a contractor and they will remove the building and send you the bill. You'll get the tax, the bill will be put as a lien against your property okay. is yes. what will happen. Yes, sir. Um, now, you know, you can work with the staff if you get, maybe you get started and you're a couple of days short of getting it done, you contact the planning department and they'll work with you, but it, it won't be uncondemned if the motion passes. I'll, I'll try to reach them out and and, and obviously, won't. it's less expensive for you to do it yourself than it is Absolutely. Yes, than sir. the contractor to do it. And we, I know everybody up here would love for you to build a brand new store there. That would be wonderful. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right. So we have a motion and a, a second on the floor to condemn or move in 30 days. Is there any further discussion? Is there any objections? Hearing none, motion carries. Uh, let's see. 1K. Southeast of 1041 Straight Drive, Carlos Ward 4, one manufactured home. So um, do we, that's, that's odd. I mean, southeast of a certain address. I mean, it's, I'm sorry, I did not understand what you said. No so there is no address, Mr. So, Crane. <laughs> so this structure has evidently been abandoned on this property oh. and and okay. so <laughs> i got you uh, that's happened before yeah. so somebody drove down the road with a mobile home and just dumped it off yes sir and now the poor property owner is responsible for removing and, it and we're still investigating that to see if there's any way that we can find who may have done that hopefully you can because obviously they moved it without a permit that's the first thing that they did wrong mr barris uh, <coughs> Oh, I moved to condemn. No <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't guess it can be saved. Um, is there anyone in the audience that wants to speak about the mobile home that they hauled illegally onto that piece of property southeast of 1041 Straight Drive? That's a surprise. We have no one here to admit that they did that. Uh -huh. All right, we have a motion by Mr. Barris and a second by Mr. Andropont that it be condemned and removed within 30 days. Is there any further discussion? Any objections? Hearing none, motion carries. 1L, 161 Boyd Landry Road in Carlos, Ward 4. There's one manufactured home. So moved. Is there second, anyone second. in the audience that wishes to speak on 1L for 161 Boyd Landry Road? Got a motion by Mr. Bear, second by Mr. Andrew Pont to condemn and remove within 30 days. Is there any discussion? Any objections? Hearing none, motion carries. 1M, 3922 Sherry Street in Carlos, Ward 4, is one <coughs> manufactured home. Is there anyone in the audience that wishes to speak on 1M, 3922 Sherry Street in Carlos? Move. Second. Got a motion by Mr. Bear, second by Mr. Markintel to condemn and remove within 30 days. Is there any discussion, any objections? Hearing none, motion carries. 1N, 2955 Hereford Road in Westlake, Ward 4, one house. Second. Is there anyone in the audience that wishes to speak on 1N, 2955 Hereford Road in Westlake? Got a motion by Mr. Burley, second by Mr. Marti to condemn and remove within 30 days. Is there any discussion, any objections? Hearing none, motion carries. 
4341 East Burton Street in Mossville, Ward 4, got one commercial building. Is there anyone in the audience that wishes to speak on 104341 East Burton Street? Got a motion by Mr. Burley, second by Mr. Barty to condemn and remove within 30 days. Any discussion, any objections? Hearing none, motion carries. 1P, 2404 Galen Drive in Sulphur, Ward 4 is one manufactured home. Second. Is there anyone in the audience that wishes to speak on 1P, 2404 Galen Drive in Sulphur? Okay, please come to the podium. State your name and address for the record. It's Michael Vincent. Uh, it's my daughter's trailer, and we've been okay. working on it and for what, what's your address, a little over please? a year. 2322 Gaylin Drive. Okay. Sulphur. And uh, it's coming along real good. It's closed in. Oh, we changed all the windows out on it. We're just trying to, we're changing the sheetrock inside of it. It's all that's left. And to put the skirting back on the siding. But we just need another month to finish it. Mr. Tremonti, would you like to yeah, speak? Um, I made a motion to condemn it. I don't know. You did. Have you been able to look at it, Brian? If you is, there, is there anything west let's, of Let's go to Mr. To Mr. Crane. What is I, was, oh. I was just speaking to my staff again. Um, I don't think we have a, we don't have a permit for this either. Mm. It's a manufactured home. <clears throat> and so even though we permit manufactured homes, they really have to go through the state fire marshal for any modifications to those structures. The state fire marshal, they uh, oversee manufactured homes. So if there's a modification to a manufactured home, they're going to have to get go through the state to make sure they're meeting the HUD requirements that they're built to. And then they're going to have to get a permit from us to do that. I don't think that's been done. Unless, I, unless you can... Yeah, we, we, didn't, we didn't change anything of it. We just... When the, a tree hit the side of it, and we think it repaired it. And then just changed the sheetrock out where it's all... It got kind of damp from the the hole in the wall sir do you have a did you get a permit no i mean I, it's we just doing it with my daughter it, okay. it's her house that's all she's got so probably you gotta you have to get a, to, you have to get a permit had you come down to get the permit they would have given you all this information that you have just been told but that would have been quite some time ago which would have stopped this process that has gotten started so, um, I mean, I've, I've probably done put about 20,000 into so, it. Mr. Landry, I, I can imagine. Okay, if you would just hang okay. on, sir. Or, or Sam, how do I? I would like to, first of all, change that motion. I'd like to, if possible, have somebody from could, Wes's office go out and look at it. If you'd like to defer it, you can uh, defer you can, it. Yeah. And defer 30 days. It, I mean, he's some 20 grand in it. And I'm, I'm sure, I don't want to see somebody lose that kind of money. So if we could defer for 30 days and make sure that you have all the permits and the fire marshal's approval, then we can meet back on it um, along with, with Wes's recommendation at that point and move forward. Is that okay? Can we do that? We can do whatever you want, Mr. Tremonti. Like you can make whatever I, motion you want. I wish, you know. I'll repeat it. That's what I'd like to do. I don't want to see somebody lose twenty grand over. Okay, Hold not knowing thought. what to do. Mr. Gab, do you have just something? Just a second. Move, motion second. Get first. Okay. Hold on. We still have more discussion, if y'all would. Uh, Mr. Stelly. Question: Why does he have to go to the fire marshal's office if he's only repairing the side of the trailer house? Uh, it's, it's not just the side. If you down. look at the photographs, inside. He's, but he's, he's not changing the square footage. All he's doing is renovating the inside. It, it's, if he's changing anything on the inside, any modification or anything like that, or the fire marshal has to approve all that. If it's wiring, I don't care what it is. It's a manufactured home. It, it has to be approved through the... So the sh changing the sheetrock in area is considered a modification? I don't know if he's just changing the sheetrock. I think we need to figure that out. 
Can I ask him a question? Absolutely. Are you rewiring you this trailer? No, sir. No plumbing, just rewiring just, the trailer. Just, I mean, uh, just uh, sheetrock and some of the insulation that was wet. And putting some metal and on the outside. And siding on the outside. Some, and we'll put the siding back on it. Well, I don't understand why he needs to go to the fire marshal's office, but that's another it, story. He may not, but we need to we need to verify okay. exactly what he's but doing. But you never actually came in to get a permit or instruction on how to do that, right? No, sir. Okay, that's what you that's what you need to do. Okay. Hold on, we have more discussion. Do you wish to speak, yeah. Mr. Burley? <laughs> sir, we we do this. We're giving you thirty days to meet with our staff. With, and get straight with them and then take their direction as far as the fire marshal and then it'll come back in front of us in 30 days. Okay. So if you haven't done that, you know. I, I will do it. Okay. Mr. Andrew Pont. Is 30 days enough to accomplish getting, you know, for your staff, yes, but I mean, what kind of input would you get from the, the uh, state fire marshal's office? On I, that? I'm not sure at this time, but if, if we run into some kind of deadline we can report back to you in 30 days and let you know that there may be some additional time that okay. he's going to need okay yeah. we're gonna we'll try to work with sure you. okay <laughs> thank you thank you Wes mr. Vincent mr. Vincent right yes sir mr. Vincent before you leave should you hang around I want to talk to you okay and I'll get you my information okay. so I can help you out yeah thank you sure thank you mr. Vincent Okay, we have a new motion on the floor. The first one was withdrawn. This is to defer for 30 days. Is that correct? By yes, Mr. Sir. Tremonti, Mr. Stelly, do you still keep your second? Yes. Okay, we've got a motion to second, defer for 30 days. Is there any further discussion? Any objections? Hearing none, motion carries. We all learned if you have a mobile home that needs repair, you can change the light bulbs. And besides that, call Mr. Crane's office or the state fire marshal. One Q, 748 Joshua Ryan Street in Sulphur, Ward 4, one manufactured home. Is there anyone in the audience that wishes to speak on one Q, 748 Joshua Ryan Street in Sulphur? No takers. We have a motion by Mr. Tremonti, a second by Mr. Markintel <coughs> to, I'm assuming, condemn and remove within 30 days. Is there any further discussion, any objections? Hearing none, motion carries. Move to adjourn. There Thank we go. That's what we needed. We are adjourned. That was quick.